Okay, guys, here we are with the uh, e brand new ESM FW190D9. Uh, it's an 83 inch wingspan, uh, well, 82 and a half inches in the length. I was 82 and a half. Uh, really nice airplane. Uh, fuselage has got a lot of detail in it, it's got a lot of panel lines. Uh, looks really good. Um, getting ready to get started on putting a cockpit in it. Um, uh, one good thing about this airplane, there's no. Um, there's nothing um, hindering us from putting a cockpit in here. Just have to remove one little piece here um, to uh, open that area up to put the cockpit in. Um, there's plenty of room to leave all the um, the forward structure here. So um, we've got it pretty well opened up for a cockpit kit. Um, a neat thing about this one, I don't know if y'all noticed about the small 190 they did, um, it had a this piece looks like it's made of ABS or uh, clear plastic. It could be removed to make an opening hood there, it, it, it appears. Um, I don't know how hard that would be. Um, somebody, uh, if somebody would reproduce this prior to pulling it off, it would be uh, a nice addition. Anyway, um, I'm getting ready to see where we need to go as far as cutting it out uh, or for the cockpit kit. I'm trying to get my information together and um, get ready to get started on it and uh, we'll move along from there. Okay, here we are back with the um, fuselage, and I've got it marked off where I'm going to start cutting. And, and the way I'm going to do it is, um, there, the former we saw inside, I'm going to see about leaving it. I took a, a drill bit and marked up, um, uh, just drilled right on the front side of that on both spots. And it's from the crease here, it's three and five eighths inches back. And I put, made a straight line, and I put a wide piece of tape here. Along the sides here, I have, um, this is the 3M tape, that, uh, this, this the good for, um, it goes around curves and everything like this, they're, they're softer tape. Here I got the 3M quarter inch tape here, uh, quarter inch tape across the top, and then I came with two eighth inch pieces down the side, because we're gonna have to make our hood that comes up. But anyway, this quarter inch goes, continues straight. It doesn't curve upside, continues straight, and just uh, up the side, and I trimmed it off, and then I brought the eighth inch down over it. So we'll follow the inside of that line all the way back. All right, we can open up all that area without doing any, uh, moving any formers whatsoever. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get this cut out, and um, then I'll be back, we'll move along from there. Okay guys, here we are back with the uh, fuselage and I have the area cut out. Um, I cut it out just like I explained. This is three and a half inches from the crease back to right here. And um, I did that on both sides. Um, this is quarter inch wide right along here. And, and it tapers going straight, tapers into one eight going all the way up. Now I, was, I did show leaving a quarter inch here, but I ended up taking it all the way off and just barely leaving a lip there. Um, where this is where the canopy sits and I just left barely I mean maybe a sixteenth of an inch there and cleaned it off that way uh, we didn't cut any of the wood any of the formers inside worked out really well um, anyway I've got I've got everything made for this one um, what the what you'll start out with when you get it is um, you'll get a, bo a body that looks like this or, or the main cockpit that looks like this um, the seat base is here and this goes towards the front all right and you're going to do like you always do on all mine you're going to fold it up all right i'm going to show you what we have to do um this is this is the um i kind of build these in prototypes and, and test them so this is kind of what it's going to look like here all right you can see where i've got two sides made that we're going to glue in place all right you have to cut those out but anyway what i was going to show you here is how to set up the main body once you fold it up you can see along the back edge here, you come up and relieve it all the way, even with the back, even with the side here, and cut that and cut that back. So we're down about a quarter inch, and we do that on both sides at the back. All right. On the sides, and you can see the rear is where these long lines end. Okay. From here, like I said, relieve this. From this corner forward, you can see this is all one piece, you know, clean across there. I'm gonna show you how we would cut that. All right, we're gonna make a mark uh, three inches, three and five eighths inches from the back forward. 
all right and then we're going to make a cut straight across and cut that even with the side and then we're going to relieve one quarter inch and just break that out or cut it out okay now that's a little bit wider than a quarter like i said this is a trial one but anyway once you relieve that quarter then we're going to trim the rest of this forward down to an eighth inch wide all the way up and we're going to leave it, it's solid we're not cutting any notches here this fits up against the side of the fuselage okay so we're coming up here taking at three and five eighths cutting out that quarter inch and then continuing down to eighth inch now we're leaving this as wide as we can it's just less just a little bit less than one quarter we're just cutting off that uh, flashing you can see where i've still got just a little bit more to remove to where it starts rotating out so we're going to clean that off all right once um you get that um, put in there. This piece fits in really easily. You just come up from the bottom, and just like all mine, you just pull, pull it up. I always say easy, it takes me forever to get them in. And it just locks into place, okay? Now, It'll lock into place even without these pieces on here. So I'm going to show you how to put those on really quick. All right. You've got this piece. You've got it cut out. Everything like you want it. All right. Now you've got two side panels. One for each side. Um, from the rear looking forward, the uh, left-hand side will have a divot in it. Okay. That's for your, um, I think it was like a flap adjustment down here on the side. But th that'll be one side and the other will look just like it uh, the way you can tell what's top and what's bottom is the bottom or the side is just about a quarter inch longer than the top okay so anyway what we do to this this is the way it'll look right here what we're going to do on the top like i said is a little bit shorter than the side we're going to come back from this corner here one and three eighths inches from that corner to one and three eighths inches and make a mark all right and we draw we do that all the way across and make a lot draw a line all right and then from this corner down the side we're going one and seven sixteenths all right one and seven sixteenths and we're going to draw a line straight out and we do it from this corner here all right once we've got that done we cut the piece out now if you'll cut along and then cut straight back that will leave that'll give you your clearance you need to glue it on so you can see where i have cut it straight here and then cut straight down the edge all right and we can leave this diagonal which will give us a little bit of strength all right now to glue these in you need to go ahead and take the pliers or what it, like i said you've seen the, the wide pliers i got fold this up and crimp this all the way across okay I've already cramped this side. You can see how easy it folds up. Now, what we'll do is we take this side here. This is the left side. And we're going to hold it in place. And we're going to end up gluing this. First, what I do is I run a bead of glue right down this side here. All right. And then we're going to lay this up. We have to bend it in far enough to lay that up. The rear of it goes flush. The rear of this goes flush with the rear of the fuselage. I mean, the, the cockpit deck. All right, so we're going to pull this in, and we're going to glue that and let that set up, okay? So we just want to make sure that this is sitting down snug onto that ledge there. All right, so we're going to hold that up there. We're going to glue that in place. And it's best if you, you've got it and, and able to hold it. I'm trying to do it for the camera, so it's a little harder. You can do it sitting on, if you do it sitting on the table, it's even easier. All right, once that's glued, then we'll put a bead of glue along the bottom here and glue the bottom. All right, once you've got it glued, once you've got it glued, the sides, you can see here, the sides will bow in slightly, okay? Now, once you've got both these sides on, or you can do it before either one, I'd come along the bottom, especially depending on putting a pilot, is it take three thirty seconds for one eighth inch balsa and run between the two bases. Uh, across the front, across the back, that gives you rigidity so you're not pressing down and bending it. All right. Also, right here, uh, just about a half inch back into where you see this, this line here, 
this is where your dash sides will go down. I would take another uh, 3 30 seconds or eighth inch piece and glue it to the side to keep that nice and straight so it's not bowing because um, it, it has a tendency to, to curve if you don't have that piece in there. All right, once you have those two sides glued in, then you will reinstall it. Well, let's, before we reinstall, I'll show you the fuselage sides. Um, instead of making uh, ABS parts that come in here and fit on your control panels on each side, I made two resin pieces. That makes them so much easier to put in. Uh, you just paint it and then you'll end up gluing it in place, okay? Um, throttle control, which is, has the long lever here, goes on the left side. And this one, which was, that was a clock, goes towards the front and is glued on that side there, okay? Um, let me go stick this back in real quick. Okay, anytime you do any of this stuff, I want you to uh, make sure that you pre-fit anything before you glue, glue anything at all, okay? Next we have the, um, let me grab the dash. All right, let me grab, I'm going to pause this and come back. I'll, I have a dash I need to um, find and we'll use, put, that to, put that together. Okay, I got some of the other parts together. Uh, the next thing we want to work on, I talked about the dash, we want to work on the hood itself that goes in here. Um, I, I was surprised that, um, that they didn't uh, pre-build that into the mold itself. It'd make it look a lot easier, make it go together a lot easier. Anyway, so I made a hood that would go in here. Um, to, to make this part, um, you will get a piece that looks just like this. All right. Um, you need to cut it. I need to cut this. I've got it a, a 16th inch all the way around. You can leave that to start with. Um, what I would do is I'd come on here, come on the inside and line this inside if I could with like some 132nd uh, plywood, 164th inch ply. That'll make it nice and rigid. And then if you wanted to add a um, the cockpit combing around there to make it thicker, you could do that. It, leaving it just the ABS is too thin for you to push it up on there. But if you would strengthen this area with some uh, uh, 132nd, 164th ply, it would make it where you could stick the cockpit combing over that, okay? Um, but anyway, when you get this part, um, I'm not sure if you can see it, but um, what I did was with this one, I test fit. You can, um, you might be able to see on here in the part itself, you can actually see it pretty well. Um, I have a line in tape right here that comes, this is the top part and that's the back side. that's three quarter inch wide tape. And what we do, is um, we'll leave that. that that's just so, so we could uh, so you can see where to um, put these pieces right here. You can take some um, ABS. I'll try to include some extra in there and glue it in that place. Or you can use uh, like a one thirty second piece of plywood, uh, three eighths inch wide, something like that. Anyway, um, I just want to make sure you see this line that comes down through here, and then there's another line that comes along the bottom here. Okay, what we're going to do is along the back here, you can see a little uh, line here, and at the back of this tape, we're gonna cut that straight up and straight across and straight back down. You can see where it all breaks apart in the mold itself. And then we're gonna cut just the flashing off along the base here, okay? And like I said, we've already cut this out across the front. All right, now what this line, the second line you see coming right across here, the top of it is where mine is cut. I took this piece and laid it down over my mold and marked it. The way I have this cut here, it sits, maybe you can see it, it sits right along the top of that piece there. So the sides come up and the hood sits there. What I would do is I would, when I cut this one, I would cut it along the base here and then start working my way up to that line so you can get that hood in there. So. Um, 
once once you um, I trial fit it before I put these pieces on, but it just comes in here, and you'll end up gluing it. The the piece of wood I'm talking about putting in here actually locks it under this lip here. Okay, so this comes up, and this would be glued in place. But uh, you can't see it very well. But my hood actually sits. You may be able to see it in there. Actually sits on top of that piece there. Okay, so. Once you've trial fitted it, and you what I'd, I'd, I'd come in here, and once I got it in place, I'd mark it again and see if it's coming up close to the line I already have there. And if it is, just glue a piece of, um, like I said, I'll try to include some uh, plastic, or you can glue a piece of uh, 130 second ply or something like that, just, just along that line so it will catch under this lip here. And um, once you've got everything fitted, then you can glue it in place, okay? but it, it fits up pretty nicely um, this line that I have marked on here coming forward right here it even marks you don't want to cut away this this one here you'll keep coming straight across the bottom here and that's where my hood ends you can see where mine ends right where that line comes forward so anyway just trial fit everything and, and cut a little bit at a time until you get it done all right, once this hood's cut and fitted, all right, you're going to, I, I try, I'll try, try fit this and then I tape it in place. All right, then we move along to the dash. There, the, the dash is two pieces. You have the uh, lower and then the dash that goes in front. All right, this one here is just cut out all the way around. And then on the back side, I added balsa. You need to make it rigid, all right? This piece here, well, um, once you got it put in or, or made, I'll show you how to put it in place. We just come up through the bottom. All right, and it comes up and just locks into the sides, all right? It'll end up being glued to the front of this piece of these pieces here all right then this now the hood's got to be tack glued or either um, taped in place this comes up we cut this one out this is a quarter inch all the way around and I cut it out just li barely cutting away the flashing you can see I've, I've actually left just a tad of it all the way around but anyway you want to feel the bottom of that at least the bottom because it's gonna be glued to the front of this one here you're gonna feel the bottom of that at least with quarter inch balsa, okay? This allows you to glue it directly to the front of this one here, and it gives you your standoff, all right? So, um, but, but before you glue any of this, you need to trial fit it, then I'd go back and paint it and then install it. But uh, once that's all fixed up, then you'll come in here and pull it up in under the hood and glue it to the front of this piece here. All right, well, let me get a, um, this all taped up and, and put in place where it's supposed to be. I'll show you what other parts I have up here, and then we'll move, move along to uh, trying to finish this up. Okay, here we are back. I've got everything put in place. Now, this is the original cockpit deck. It does not have the... Uh, little uh, elevated piece in the front or the pedestal for the chair. I've just got a piece of wood in there right at the moment. But anyway, the chair is pretty self-explanatory. You can just cut it out and it sits in place. But you can see the dash, the dash, um, one piece of tape holds this in temporarily, but the dash will come right up against this and glue in place. Okay, now um, what I was gonna do is move her back here to the headrest. Um, let's see, get the camera set. Anyway, a headrest comes in three pieces. You're going to get a large piece here that is the headrest uh, support itself. Anyway, um, you can see, if you look at the pieces, some definite part departing lines along the back edge. And then you'll be able to see some definite ones along the front here. And if, you, if you're, you're not sure, always cut a little bit long because you can always reduce it. You just can't add back to it, okay? Um, but anyway, you want to cut that out, removing, removing it. And when you initially remove it, 
you can um, cut it straight along the bottom here because that's the way the original mold is because you can't cut you can't pre-cut this but anyway what i've done is once you've got this all cut out or actually you can mark it before you cut it but anyway from this back edge here where this comes down to a point you'll mark over from there over one quarter inch all right from this where it comes down mark it there and then go one quarter inch over and from the base you can see this you if you look at it the light you can see where it stops down here at the bottom from that bottom up it's going to be one and three quarters inches from that corner to the top one and three quarter inches all right but we want to go ahead even though we've marked that we'll go ahead and cut this whole thing out all right then if you want to you can go ahead and remove this line right here just this line on both sides what that does that gives you the departing line on the the headrest so if you can see where i've got the quarter inch at the bottom and this comes up all right but once you get this cut out you also have uh the main body of the headrest now if you look across the back of it it slopes backwards okay what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out and we're going to cut it away any of this flashing that comes forward so i mean you may only be an eighth inch wide but um, what you want to do is once you get that uh, cut out or, or prior to cut out, you want to go ahead and put some balsa in here to make it a little bit more rigid. All right, you can um, just fill it the best you can. It doesn't have to look pretty because you're not going to be able to see it. Um, once you get that done, we're going to take it and we're going to glue the front of this. And if you cut a nice straight edge on it because it kind of angles forward, we're going to, you need to trial fit it. What I do is I push it down and push these in the corners. And I use CA. I mean, you can use something, a different glue if you want. But um, push this down and, and get this seated first and then continue to glue it on down. Seated these corners first and then got it to glue on down. But uh, once you get that glued, you will have to come back here with some filler and fill that edge. And that, that won't be hard to do. Um, I also have a headrest. I uh, misplaced it. But anyway, um, the other thing you need is the piece that goes back here. This is a piece that's cut out an eighth inch. What you need to do is um, fill that. A 332nd will probably fill that the best. Okay? You want to fill that. Make sure to remove all the flashing. And what that will end up being, it will be glued back here. But what that does, let's hold it in place. What that does, it allows this piece here to set down, set down, and it gives you a place, once it's over the edge, to glue that to on the back side. See, we're even with the front here, it gives you a place to glue it on the back. All right, now this all fits with inside the canopy. See, it all fits in place. Um, one other thing you may consider, I'm trying to find my headrest. Oh, here it is. Um, Another thing is you have a headrest. It's made out of quarter inch. You want to put some quarter inch balsa in it, and that will glue to the center right here. All right, that'll glue in that place and then glue in, glue down here. But one thing you may want to consider, if you leave your plane sitting out in the hot sun, this stuff doesn't start getting soft till it's about 150 degrees. Now, I don't know how hot it's going to get in here. You may want to, once you're at this point, lay you some lightweight glass cloth in there and and just make sure it doesn't touch the edges and especially keep it away from this back edge because you're going to glue that onto here is rub some uh, medium ca into it and that will strengthen that up but you don't want to kick it because it'll get hot really quick and, and can deform you but just just put some glass cloth in there and that'll make that nice and rigid it's, like i said once again that's totally up to you i don't leave my planes i just keep them in their tent and don't leave them sitting outside but uh, once you get that done, uh, that that goes right in place. Uh, I do have a uh, a joystick. It fits just right in front of the pilot seat. I also have made a, a, a handle. This handle goes it goes it mounts on this wall right here. It's the, it was the handle for the uh, canopy to slide. All right, uh, that's all the main stuff for this cockpit. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, the whole thing painted up. Um, I will show you what it looks like um, with all the with all the gauges painted. 
all the dials and everything in place and um, I will be back. Okay guys, here we are back with the uh, cockpit. I've got it fully painted. I've got it put together. Um, I'm just going to kind of go over where everything goes. Um, what I did is I generally paint the whole cockpit one color, except for this. On this, I painted, went ahead and painted the hood black. I want a little bit of a, a difference in it. And it's hard to tell in some of the documentation what color the hood actually was. Anyway, um, I'm going to kind of go backwards and take this apart and show you what I've done. Uh, the, the gun sight, the gun sight is a small piece. It will have a slot in it and there will be some uh, clear plastic supplied. Um, you just cut this to the width and however tall you want them. You slide the one in the slot and then I actually bend it back a little bit and then put the other one on the front. And that just glues right here in this square on top. Okay, uh, that was pretty easy. If you want to make it look like it goes full depth through there, you can just mount a piece of a balsa block on the bottom or a piece of hardwood there and to make it look like the, uh, the um, gun sight goes all the way through. Anyway, um, I'm gonna pull the hood off. And like I said, on the hood, you have, I, on mine, I use some uh, thick plastic or you can use a piece of, um, a piece of uh, wood, like 132nd or one, uh, a plywood to glue. I, I described earlier where to glue that. Anyway, I'm gonna tell you on the inside of this, because this is thin plastic, I would go ahead and mount some um, 132nd, 164th inch ply on the big areas to keep it from deforming under the sun later on. Uh, because I don't know how hot, how hot it is where you are and how hard it is to keep from deforming. But like I said, this stuff doesn't even start getting uh, soft till you're over 150 degrees. All right, I'm, I pulled this out. Um, now you can see here the dash the dash is um, the two pieces like I've shown putting it together. Uh, you'll have all the dials and you'll have a, a, a ammo counter here that'll cut out of the thing and glue on this piece here. Um, but that goes in, in there. Uh, I painted all the uh, dials black and then I put the, um, each individual gauge in. Uh, let's see if I can get this out of here pretty easy. Um, I do have this just temporarily taped in place. Let's see if it's coming apart. All right, I taped this on so I could get it apart. All right. Uh, all right, you can see the gauges on there. Now on this, I say I taped all this together. Um, I just painted this up. Now this did have a lever on it. There will be a piece of, uh, this is a pin, a large headed pin. It was kind of flat on the side, so I just took it, sanded each side off. And there will be some uh, aluminum tubing supplied. You slide the pin through the tubing and then paint that slot black and you can install your lever there. Okay, um, coming in here, each one of these sides, um, I told you I made these out of a large piece of, uh, of resin. Uh, I painted it up. Um, hopefully you can see this here and see the pictures online how I painted it exactly. Um, the handle, the throttle handle, will be a, a dowel supplied and then a piece of brass. And what I've done is just cut into the end of that dowel with a razor knife and you will end up mounting it through that slot. You need to paint that slot black through the slot and into the plastic on the side. You may have to take an X-Acto knife and push down through there so you can get that piece worked in. And you can cut that brass to the length you needed, but it's set up just at an angle like that. Um, I don't have it installed, but on this little round piece here, off to the side there was, was a small round knob that would kind of tracked along this end here. There will be pins supplied. You can just drill a hole there and put it in place. Other than that, that was pretty, pretty much, um, it had switches on here. And these were painted a whiter color, so I, I made those a light color. And then the rest of these black. But I do have a, a gauge. I didn't glue this one in. It fell out. Uh, but there's a... Uh, gauge that goes right there so to complete to complete that one okay now the other side these pieces are just glued on top of the sides in here um, this is pretty basic it had a clock and the, the this these were breaker boxes I, I guess they opened them up to get to the breakers themselves and um, there's some dials i just painted those black um, there's a handle 
on the side that actually opened the canopy that supplied the real one I was looking at it did have it was kind of round it had a white a, a lighter color handle and then a black knob on it and that was painted and just it's glued to the side here um, the overall color of this cockpit I, I did it at RLM 75 I usually do them in RLM 74 I like that color but I ran out and so I went ahead and had enough to do the whole Seven, the whole thing is 75. It took a bottle, one and a half bottles of the Model Masters paints. I do have a video online that shows how to how I paint my cockpits. So it kind of shows you how I uh, cut the dials out or, or the the gauges out and then install them. But anyway, this piece, like I said, you may want to reinforce this area here because it is a large open area uh, with the fiberglass. Um, I did mask this whole area off and paint the whole interior or just around the edges here and the sides uh, the seats pretty self-explanatory you can go and add some aftermarket stuff from the material from a, a fabric shop for uh, the shoulder straps and stuff like that if you want to um, there is a uh, joystick in included um, but anyway you can see down in here that uh, it's just pretty pretty basic cockpit there i will include a set of um of foot pedals for the rudders um, you can if you get that ambitious to put those down in there and you're not going to have a pilot there will be two of these included i'll also um in the kit there 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 will be included um two can or a gun man uh gun barrels they will be long and I, I took these and I cut it off. You can see how short that is because they barely stuck out the edge there. And you just have to glue those in, paint those and glue those in place. Um, this cockpit, uh, you know, I've been doing it so long. These are generally pretty easy to, to fix or to build and put in. I can have one of these cut out and ready to the point of painting in about an hour. It really doesn't take that long. Um, this copy will be offered by VQ Warbirds. Um, uh, if you have any questions, you can always uh, feel free to contact me online. Um, I'm at tiesplanes.com. There's an email address there. If you're in the United States, you can always call me and I feel free to answer questions. Uh, okay, guys, one thing I forgot to say, what I will also include in the kit, I'm going to um, uh, have enough uh, plastic that you can seal off the front and the back after you get it all together that way you can uh you won't be able to see anything in front you, you could paint it black and the back one you could paint the uh, same colors in the interior and um, it'll go right behind the seat and and go in place back there um, you'll be able to um, it'll be a big enough piece that you can come in the back here and mark it off and fit it in that slot there and that'll make it nice and rigid um, so you really do need to seal off the back. You don't have to seal off the front. Um, but that's up to you. Um, I'm also going to say, if you're going to run the big 50cc motors or something like that, I would also run at least in one place. I've already talked about um, uh, running, putting balsa in here to stiffen the sides up. I would also consider running like a, a stringer, maybe a, a quarter by half. or a, um, You could even run an eighth inch thick by a half inch wide piece from... Um, the side of the fuse to the side of the fuse underneath the cockpit that'll keep vibration from getting to it and um, that's just just um, trying to help you make sure it, it lasts a nice long time uh, but uh, one thing by sealing the back and sealing the front that will really make it nice and rigid and and it'll add to the, the the sturdiness of it anyway um this cockpit is pretty easy to put in and um, i hope you enjoy it. it makes the plane look really good um uh, this is the end of the video.